Hey guys, this here is our new anti review the Dolapine Legable Lake Avengers 4 pack vehicles. So, these are the boxes here. Uh, so, you can see uh, there's uh, four of them in the set. So, uh, it's recommended for the six craft and this set 514. And yeah, so first one here you got uh, Thor in his um, Commodore ship, and you also have uh, this Berserker on the wolf that uh, Hella owns. And also, you got two more of these which are uh, from comics or a cartoon. I forgot, I'm not. I'm not really sure where, where it is from, but yeah, so you got this uh, the Croit Steel, uh, the mini version, and also you have this uh, uh, mini version of the Captain America's uh, jet. So, yeah, so these are the tops of the boxes here. Uh, so, as you see, uh, shows you uh, the figures that uh, they come with. So, on this side, uh, shows you uh, the builds uh, that they come with. Uh, it's the exact uh, same image as the front of the box. And uh, this side of the box, it's uh, all the same. So, uh, this is the backs of the boxes here. Um, so, you can see, uh, shows you all the features. Uh, I'm surprised that they didn't show you the, um, uh, the rest of the set, I guess. Um, you know, like putting the box the pictures of the the other sets from the same set number but yeah so you got uh this store one right here and you got this um a berserker one and you also got uh this um uh detroit steel one and you also got the captain america's uh jet one but um yeah so aside from that, that's it for the boxes. So these are the instruction manuals here. Um, so you got this this uh, Tor one, and you got the Berserker one with the wolf. And yeah, they are all just uh, pretty basic uh, instructions on the sheet. And yeah, um, and it's that. You also have this uh, Captain America's one, and for some reason they didn't show this uh, printed piece. They only show this as a uh, normal piece. But yeah, uh, so that's it for the instructions. So first off, from Mavix, uh, this is a uh, tour in his gladiator suit right here, and yeah, so. You can see he's armed with two of his uh, uh, katanas or swords right here, and yeah, um, that's a nice inclusion, and yeah, it's uh, accurate to the official Lego figure. So right off the bat, you can see uh, the helmet is um, not accurate at all to the official Lego uh, version. So this is the uh, comic uh, book helmet, I think, and. Yeah, like I'm not sure why they didn't make the mold for the um uh the official Lego versions of the helmet, but um yeah, this still kind of works, but just that um yeah, you do it doesn't cover up the full uh back facial printing, but yeah, so uh, let's remove the helmet here so you can see uh, the face print is actually accurate to the movie and yeah so the torso printing um, like the base color uh, for the torso and legs uh, it's uh, supposed to be a little bit uh, more darker so yeah that's a little bit of a problem right there but yeah so you can see the torso you have all all his armoring and, and stuff like that and you got this strap going through here and you got all these around things I'm not sure what they are but yeah um you have all the uh, silver linings and the legs so you, you just have a little bit of uh, printing right there and does have side arm printing which is probably the best part about this figure and yeah it's also accurate to the official Lego figure and does have his um uh, tear it off a uh, half cape which is definitely a nice inclusion and yeah um the the back uh, his alternate expression is his uh, lightning face which is uh, accurate to the official Lego so yeah the back I'm not sure if it's accurate or not but yeah looks um, looks accurate though but yeah you just have all these uh, linings and stuff like that and uh, the, all the armor and stuff like that but yeah, so uh, 
But aside from that, that's it for Thor. So the second figure here is this uh, Berserker. So yeah, uh, he's holding this uh, weapon of some sort. I'm not sure what it is, but yeah, it looks like some sort of uh, sword. But yeah, so uh, you can see uh, it's actually very accurate to the official Lego uh, version of the Berserker because uh, like uh, all the detailings here, they are all very accurate. And yeah, so uh, you can see the head print here, you got all these really dark green uh, detailings on there and yeah it's a little bit hard to see but yeah you can see that right now and you have uh, his mouth which is this um, roaring mouth type thing and yeah so uh, it, it also this like this dark uh, really dark uh, green color also applies to the official Lego figure I think they did it on purpose to make it look cooler and yeah you have all the detailings uh, right there and the back you have this horn type thing and yeah so uh, removing the back attachment piece and see does have a back hip thing and yeah it's a little bit hard to po focus right there but yeah you can see uh, it does have uh, some detailing right there and yeah it's uh, really hard to see and yeah it's a little bit annoying but yeah so the back uh, yeah Actually, the printing is uh, pretty similar to the front, but um, yeah, so uh, like aside from that, that's it for uh, this um, Berserker. So the third figure here is the Croyd Steel or uh, Justin Hammer. So yeah, you can see uh, it's uh, based on uh, the official, official LEGO set, the Croyd Steel Strikes. And yeah, actually, it's uh, pretty accurate. Uh, but yeah, so you can see uh, the helmet piece, it is the exact same piece. So yeah, nice that they made a new mode for it, I guess. But yeah, um, you, and it does have some uh, printing right here. You got the eyes, and you got the mouth, and you got the star printing right there. And the torso printing, um, you can see you got uh, this American flag tough thing, and you also have this arc reactor tough thing, and you have all the armorings and stuff like that. And the leg printing, you also have this uh, American flag thing, and also this uh, knee pad uh, thing, and yeah, um, also does have these studs and the cylinder pieces to represent the um, uh, the crusters, I guess, but yeah. So uh, let's remove his helmet, and you can see removing his helmet, you got uh, Justin Hammer's face, and yeah, it, uh, this set doesn't include any um, hair pieces for him. That's a little bit uh, too bad, but yeah, you also have uh, the alternate expression. Not sure if it's accurate to the official Lego version or not, or not, but yeah. So uh, the background thing, you have all these armor rings and stuff and you got all these lights and you got these stars and stuff and yeah actually uh looks pretty good so uh this is a comparison to the shingons version which is accurate to the official lego one so yeah uh this one comes with a um a a stud uh comes with studs and also cylinder pieces and yeah, not sure if the Usher Lego uh, version come comes with all these stuff or not, but yeah, I forgot. But yeah, so uh, the helmets uh, they are all uh, very similar, and uh, the torso printing and all those stuff they are all similar. So the face print, um, not sure if it's similar or not, but yeah, let's just uh, take it off and see. So. Yeah, uh, the front one is um, uh, pretty accurate actually, just that the um, Dollar Peens version is uh, like uh, the like this uh, glass piece is um, it's much more lighter the printing for it and yeah, so this is the back and see the mouth print uh, for this uh, uh, Shinga one is uh, like it's much more thicker and yeah this one is much more thinner so yeah that's the difference right there but yeah so aside from that that's it for uh justin hammer last but not least this is captain america right here so yeah uh you can see he has his uh sh shield which is uh the pretty uh normal one that uh is very common but yeah so he is in his uh flight suit or jumpsuit type thing and yeah so 
you can see uh, the he hip print, uh, you have this A right there, and you got the goggles, and the torso printing, uh, you have this um, scarf thing right here, and you have the star, you have this belt, and you have all the pouches, and you got the A right there, and you got the, um, uh, the white and red uh, stripe. And the back, you can see you got this uh, back uh, head printing, not sure what it is, but yeah, so uh, the back torso printing, pretty similar to the uh, front, you have this star right there, and yeah, I don't have the Astro Lego figure to compare it, or the Shingo version to compare it to, but yeah, uh, like, uh, aside from that, that's it for Captain America in his flight suit. So first off, our builds here. Uh, this is the Commodore. So, yeah. Um, you can see it is uh, actually a uh, pretty accurate to the uh, the Legos uh, big version of this, I guess. But yeah, I don't have the big version because that set is um pretty pretty expensive. But um, yeah. So you got this uh, saucer uh, shape right here, and yeah, uh, they capture uh, pretty well. And yeah, so uh. On the uh, crease, crease sides, you got these uh, sharp ends, and yeah, looks uh, pretty accurate. You, they use these uh, wedge pieces, and um, yeah, so uh, this copy part right here, you got a uh, crease of these uh, round towel pieces, and yeah, they do look um, nice, and yeah, um, they did also put in uh, these uh, studshirts, which fires a blue stud, but uh, it's supposed to be uh, purple. In offshore Lego, but um, yeah, it's a uh, pretty accurate where they uh, place the stud here. But um, yeah, I'm not sure why there's a stud at the back, but yeah, it does fire pretty well. So yeah, that's um great. So uh, the cockpit part here, uh, you just have a seat for a pilot, and yeah, no, sadly, no canopy piece for uh this, which is uh kind of bad because it just makes the whole whole carpet part look really weird I guess but um, yeah it still looks um, pretty cool I think and um, yeah so that's it for the Commodore so the second build here is this uh, Fenris Wolf type thing um, yeah I forgot how how uh, like what he, his name was but um, yeah it was something like that I guess but yeah so this is a uh, kind of midi scale version of him uh, because the original uh, version of him in Offshore Lego it is uh, actually uh, pretty big so yeah but um, you know, uh, they use all these uh, ball joints so you can move uh, all these stuff around, I guess. But um, yeah, so let's start off with the head. So the head, you can obviously move it, uh, move around uh, with this uh, ball joint. And yeah, you got these ears right here, which is on this uh, clip. So you can move it around and you got this mouth right here which you can kind of open up so yeah that's great and you got the nose and you got these uh claw pieces type thing and yeah does have glow in the dark studs which is definitely nice to get um i can't show it to you right now because um yeah i didn't shine any uv light on it so yeah it doesn't quite work but yeah it does work but um you know uh so the legs here um you can see it's a uh, pretty basic um yeah, like the this part, you just have this uh, this special piece, and yeah, like um, you can also move it around, and yeah, the the feet uh, it's on the this um uh, clip piece, so you can kind of move it around much more easy easier uh, than uh, the ball joints, and yeah, uh, so the back legs uh, they are just much more simplified, and um. Yeah, but uh, aside from that, that's it for the legs. But yeah, so the tail is uh, pretty simple. You can kind of move it around, and you know, you can, you can also move this around because it, it's on a clip piece. So uh, on the body part of this uh, wolf here, uh, it does have a little small uh, two studs here to put on a figure. So that's great. Uh, so you can you know put this berserker and have him ride the wolf. 
but um, yeah, so aside from that, that's it for So the third build here is the Decroit Steel So you are wondering why he's missing an arm uh, That's because uh, it, like they have a missing piece in the set uh, So that kind of sucks um, I can't find a piece in Astro Lego, I can't buy it So yeah, uh, this we just have to do for now But um, yeah, so these are the parts that uh, that is uh, supposed to go on the arm yeah uh, it's uh, missing this piece right here so yeah it's a very important piece so yeah but um you can see like uh, this arm right here you have this uh, shoulder part with this uh, red thing and it's on the this ratcheted piece and like I would say the build itself it just really does suck so yeah but um uh, here you have a stud shirt here and you can fire it uh, and it does fire pretty nicely and you can turn it around and yeah in the offshore lego build uh, it is a uh, six stud shirt so yeah but you have his fingers right here you can move it around and yeah so the other arm uh yeah the it's uh, actually pretty accurate uh yeah it has the um uh, the chainsaw so yeah uh, pretty cool that they put in this uh, chainsaw piece but um, yeah you just have the fingers and yeah no any no jumper plates or any studs right here it's just a towel piece and yeah the the shoulder part is the exact same and the the legs uh yeah they're all just pretty basic detailings i guess but yeah there's just a problem with this build it's just that this thing is not connected so well like everything here just sucks i'll say and yeah but everything is on ball joint and yeah so the main part of the body uh you can here you can put on the justin hammer and you can just close this up but yeah like everything here just doesn't work so yeah but this thing keeps falling off but yeah so this back part you just have two of these pieces which is also on the big build yeah so i have a big build right here um yeah it's uh from shingon but yeah it's the exact same replica but yeah so uh these back wing parts um yeah they keep falling off because they don't have any things to uh prevent them from uh falling so yeah like um i might have to fix that or i just uh, tear this build into pieces and you know just use it for extra extra parts but um yeah so aside from that that's uh, really it uh for the detroit steel like i mean comparing it to the big build yeah it is um pretty accurate just that everything here uh, it just doesn't work so yeah but that's it for the Decroit Steel. So the last build here is Captain America's Jet. Um, so actually I didn't build this uh, build here because um, I already have it from the 8-pack Mayfix set. So yeah, but yeah, this one I just uh, keep it for myself uh, or you know, I can use the parts I guess. But yeah, um, I already have the build so yeah, I, I, I just got this for the figure. But yeah, so... Uh, this thing here is uh, uh, actually pretty simple yeah so the front you got this printed captain america shield piece and at the cockpit you just have this uh, low steering wheel and you can just uh, put in captain america uh, easily but yeah his hands does have to be like this and you can just sit him in kind of like this his ha hands can't really re reach the um uh the steering wheel and yeah so the wings you can move it around you know it's on this uh piece i'm not sure what it's called but yeah you can move it around uh just like the offshore lego big build but yeah um so the back part you have this fin and you have these red lights and also you have these thruster pieces or engine pieces but um yeah, you just have this slope right here, and yeah, but aside from that, that's um, really it for Captain America's jet. So, overall conclusion of this set, so, how do I think of it? Um, well, the main focus of this set is uh, definitely the figures, uh, like the figures are what uh, 
got me into buying this set in the first place so yeah like uh, uh, the main reason that I got this set is because of the Thor Ragnarok figures um, yeah they are pretty cool and yeah I think um, maybe if uh, they made the helmet mold uh, more accurate uh, just like the Astro Lego one um, then it would have been much uh, better and yeah the berserker i think it's a uh, very nice and uh detroit steel is okay but i really have him in uh Shingon. and yeah the shingon's one is a little bit uh, better and yeah um the captain america is um okay i think he's cool and yeah but um the builds itself um uh, two of these are the best two two of these builds are the best ones in the set and two of these are the worst ones I guess but yeah the the Detroit steel is definitely the worst because every everything just doesn't work everything falls apart and it's missing a piece as well so that's a bad quality control and yeah so um like um the Captain America's jet I think it's all right just that I'm not sure why they wanted to repeat the builds but yeah so if you have already gotten the 8 pack set which yeah I'll, I'll put a I'll put a annotations on uh, annotation on the side right now so you can see the video but yeah the if you already have that set then yeah I don't recommend you getting the full set I recommend you get trying to get it in the, like the singles I guess uh, yeah may maybe just get two of these stuff and yeah the rest of these just uh, leave them out you know just forget about them because they just suck so yeah overall I think this set is a pretty terrible set uh, the only best parts about the set are the Thor Ragnarok parts so yeah but uh, if you want to buy the set, I'll put a buy link down in the description box below along with all my social media packages down in the description. So if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you very soon.